Hi, my name is Jeff Allison, and I'm a product manager for photoelectric sensing at Pepperell and Fuchs USA. Today, I'd like to talk briefly about how luminescence sensing works, or the technology behind luminescence sensors. This question comes up sometimes when people want to understand how or why a luminescence sensor would be used in an application. Now we're looking at Pepperell and Fuchs DK50 UV luminescence sensor. Uh, and this optical window is facing to the right side. And on the left side of the screen, we see the sensor's output LED, which is actually in the back of the sensor housing. So luminescent sensors are most often used to distinguish conditions that may involve an invisible mark or coating, such as an ink or dye, or an object or mark that's on an irregular surface, such as a chalk mark on a piece of lumber. Some materials, either inherently or intentionally, contain a substance called luminophores. A luminophore is said to be fluorescent or luminescent. Now we see a mark which is luminescent because it contains luminophores. Luminescent sensors emit ultraviolet or UV light, which isn't visible to the human eye. When the UV light reaches the luminophores, the process of luminescence occurs. And what happens is when the UV light reaches the luminophores, the luminophores are stimulated by that UV light so that they radiate visible light at a very specific wavelength. This visible light that is radiated, which is blue in color, then reaches the sensor's receiver. When the signal strength of that visible light reaches a specific threshold, then the output of the sensor changes state. In short, luminescence is creating light that isn't dry by heating something. It's different than incandescent light, which does create light by heating, like with a filament in a light bulb. In the case of luminescence sensing, UV light causes something to luminesce. And the byproduct of that is light that's at a visible wavelength. One common misconception about luminescence sensors is that they react to ultraviolet light. And in fact, they emit ultraviolet light, but they only respond to visible light that's at a specific wavelength that happens when the process of luminescence occurs. So if we remove the luminescent material from in front of the sensor, then luminescence does not occur, and the visible blue light that occurs during luminescence is not created. All that happens is that ultraviolet light is reflected from the target back to the sensor. As the sensor's receiver does not respond to UV light, its output stays off. So thanks for your interest in Pepperone Fuchs and luminescence sensing. For more information about luminescence sensing, be sure to check out our website shown here. Also check out our YouTube channel for PNF USA.